Welcome to the Prestige Fitness tutorial on how to use the Staiku 3D Body Scanner. Once you enter the room with your client, make sure you draw the blinds down by using the chain on the right side of the window. Then proceed to close the door. That way you can go over your client's goals and privacy and also go over how to use the scanner to your client without loud noise. Before you have your client step up onto the platform, make sure you use the sanitation wipes which will be on a shelf behind you. Wipe down where their feet are gonna go so that way you can have your client step on barefoot without damaging the platform. When working with a client with long hair, make sure you have them pull their hair up into a tight bun. Don't have their hair down and do not have their hair in a ponytail as the machine cannot differentiate between the actual hairline and the neckline and you will not get accurate results when it comes to your circumference measurements and your body fat testing. Now to launch the 3D body scan program. Find the Staiku icon on the home screen and double click on that. The screen will turn white and the Staiku program will then launch. You will see the title screen with a loading bar. You are now being directed to the Staiku homepage. Where the right side of the screen you'll have a grid, the left side you'll have a bunch of different options in the upper left hand corner. Right next to the home icon will be the scan icon. Click on that. You will now click on create a profile as you are creating a brand new save file for your client. Soon we will have them step onto the platform to weigh in, but first, you want an accurate representation on what your client weighs. So have them remove any type of objects from their pockets, including, but not limited to, their wallet, keys, cell phone, a large bottle of pills, a computer mouse, writing utensils, glasses, and potentially any gold bouillon. From this point, also have them remove their shoes and their socks. They are now ready to be weighed. Now have your client stand on the Staiku platform right where the foot silhouettes are. Have them stand perfectly still as the computer calculates how much they weigh. You will know when the computer is finished because the numbers will highlight in red. Then hit record to advance to the next screen where you will be prompted to fill out some more client information. The fields that are required are first name, last name, email address, the height of your client, how old they are, and their gender. From there, you will hit continue. You are now seeing what the camera is seeing. You want to make sure the turntable is within the white silhouette which is shown on screen. You may need to make some adjustments. Here is an example of a turntable that is outside the silhouette. Move it into position and step away so that way the silhouette shows back up again to make sure that it's completely aligned to where it needs to be on screen. Now that the turntable is in the proper position, we need to make sure that it's pointed towards the camera. On the computer, go into turntable settings and click on that. From there, you can control the turntable by pushing start to move the arrow in the desired position. Once it gets to the position you want, which is facing towards the camera, hit stop. Now it's time to give our client instruction. It would go something like this. Mr. Shahan, what's going to happen next is I'm going to leave the room and I will lock the door behind me. What I would like you to do is undress down to your underwear. From there, you are going to step onto the turntable to where the foot silhouettes are. You're going to raise your arms up about 45 degrees away from the body. On screen, we'll show you a prompt to where your arms need to go. Hold perfectly still. The turntable will rotate clockwise for about 44 seconds as the computer is capturing your body and inputting it into a 3D image. Once the capture is complete, you will see done on screen with a green check mark. Step down from the platform, get dressed, and come and grab me. Once you come back into the room, click on continue. The computer will take a moment to process the entire 3D image and calculate the circumference measurements. 
Once the body appears on screen, click on the save icon. Then click on the exit scanning icon. It will ask you if you are sure. Hit yes. Now you are ready to go over the scan with your client. Let's start with the body measurement tab that's in the middle. This screen here will show body fat percentage and all of the circumference measurements of the body. These measurements auto-populate based off of specific landmarks of the human body. These measurements are taken out to the 100th of an inch. With that, they're very precise and the accuracy eliminates any type of human error. This is a fantastic opportunity to inquire with your client on if they're happy with their measurements, where specifically they would like to work on, and what they would like to change. If there are some standout measurements, this would also be a great opportunity to talk about symmetry and imbalances in the human body and how we can correct them. If you would like to know what the corresponding measurement is from the left side of the list to where it shows up on the body, all you need to do is click on what measurement you would like to see and it will show up on the figure to the right. And vice versa, you can click on the circumference measurement on the 3D model and it will show you the corresponding measurement on the menu to the left. If you scroll down further on the menu on the left side, the 3D body scanner also has the ability to do surface area measurements in addition to volume measurements. The next tab we want to go to is to the right of the scan tab is the fitness tab with the icon of a dumbbell. Click on that. On this screen we will want to talk to our client about body fat percentage, on where they are currently and where they would like to be. Discuss the pros and cons of being at a specific body fat percentage, whether they're healthy or they're not healthy. You can show them in the ranking below and as well as how they rank with others. The next tab in the fitness category is going to be the fat loss calculator. This is an incredibly important feature of the 3D body scanner because not only does it allow us to establish short term and long term goals with our client, it also gives them an estimated projection on when they can expect to achieve these goals based off of how many times a week they are working out. There are two sliders. The top slider is the fat loss goal. When you move that over, it will show how many pounds of fat that's needed to lose to achieve the desired body fat or their ranking that they're looking to achieve. The bottom slider shows how many workouts per week is needed to obtain a specific goal date, shown at the bottom of the page. The next tab over in the fitness category is going to be the calorie calculator. This shows their basal metabolic rate their caloric expenditure based off of how many workouts they're currently doing, the caloric deficit that is needed to obtain the goal by their goal date, and at the bottom of the page will allow you to adjust their caloric consumption. The more calories consumed, the goal date will be pushed out and it will take longer to achieve the desired goal. Less calories will allow them to achieve it sooner. The last category is health. It's to the right of the fitness icon up at the top. Here shows the waist circumference measurement and the waist to hip ratio and the risk associated with both. Click on the risk analysis tab. Here you will find how many times more likely you will suffer from various factors based off of the waist circumference measurement, such as cancer, respiratory disease, cardiovascular disease, and all other diseases. The next tab over is the risk reduction calculator, which will help us show how many inches that is needed to lose around the waist in order to drop to the next risk level down, and also the associated diseases that will drop down as well. The example shown is someone that is at the complete bare minimum, so there is nothing that they can do to change what their current risk level is because they're at ground zero. However, lots of other clients will have other factors that can be changed. Let's talk about the tools that are available to us in the 3D body scanner. The edit tool allows us to take any circumference measurement we desire and move it to a different location. If we no longer want that measurement in the new location, we have the undo icon we can utilize. 
This will allow us to go back a step if we made a mistake or we don't want it in its new placement. The reset icon allows us to completely eliminate all new locations and it puts all circumference measurements back into their default state. The link tool allows you to take any measurement between two points on the 3D image. All you need to do is select the link tool, click on one point of the body, whether it be the shoulder or any other area that's desired, to let's just say for this example, the wrist, and it will give you that measurement in inches. If you no longer want that measurement, same thing is that you can revert back to the original save or you can delete it altogether. The view tape icon allows you to hide the circumference measurements if you choose to do so if you just want to see the 3D image. The see through icon allows you to make the 3D model translucent. The silhouette icon allows you to completely eliminate the 3D image and make it into a 2D silhouette. The profile icon will turn that same silhouette to the immediate side. The 3D icon will revert the image back to its original 3D state. It's also the default position when you first come to the program. The grid icon allows you to take the 3D flooring and gives you more of a 2D backdrop against the actual 3D model, or even the silhouette model if you choose. The landmarks icon will show you specifically by labeling all the anatomical regions of the body. The volume icon shows how the system separates the different volumes on what it measures in the system. The full screen icon is below the 3D image. You click on that and it completely eliminates all the menu items to the left side of the screen so you can focus just on the 3D scan. The split screen feature allows you to compare and contrast two different dates so you can see them side by side. We are now going to pull up a different profile so that way we can see the compare and contrast features of the 3D body scanner. First we need to close the pre-existing profile by hitting close in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Except that you are closing the current profile by hitting yes. Click on the open icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen. At this point in time the search menu will populate. In the upper right hand corner, enter in the desired client that you intend on pulling up. Select them by clicking to the box next to their name. On the lower right hand corner, click on next, and from here we want to load all of their profiles. This is our Staiku example. Let's just call her Jane. So far she has three body scans. When pulling up a member that has multiple scans, new information will populate above their body measurements. This includes the total net loss and gain, which is the combined total of the loss of the circumference measurements from the torso, the neck and arms, and legs. This will show inches lost in addition to the percentage they've lost in those particular areas. Let's move to the trends icon next to the body measurements tab. From here, we can select any circumference measurement on our 3D model. Once selected, it will graphically plot out how the client has trended from once they first started to their latest measurement. From the drop-down menu above the graph, we can select any circumference measurement that's currently on the body. In addition to that, we could select body fat percentage, body density, BMI, weight, fat weight, and non-fat weight and it will graph all of them. The more scans you have saved, the more measurements that will show up on the graph. Let's show another way we can compare and contrast a measurement. What we're gonna do is select a circumference measurement on the body, and we're gonna select our cross-section tool to the right. From here, it will show us, from one measurement to the other, the difference and change in shape. Now for a full body compare and contrast. On the right side of the screen, click on the profile icon, and it will show from one day to the other the change in the body from a side profile. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with the 3D image. At the bottom of the scan, click full screen. Now select split screen that's below the 3D model. The scan will automatically show two different images, 
One is from the first scan and the other is the latest scan. Now to view them both without any distractions, hit the view tape icon to eliminate all their circumference measurements. Now you can see the 3D scans in all their glory. Whether it be a brand new client or a pre-existing client, you always want to send the progress or the initial file over to that person. Click on the share icon on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. For new clients, you're sending over the scan report. For pre-existing clients with multiple scans, you're sending just a progress report. Click the email icon on the bottom of the screen. From here, you will be directed to a bunch of boxes that are already checked. Leave them as is. And click on Next. Verify your client's email address is correct, and then click on Send. After clicking Send, the email takes a couple of minutes for it to completely go through. This is a great opportunity to reset the room for the next personal trainer that wants to utilize it, or even any of the clients that want to utilize the 3D scan on their own. Start by wiping down the 3D scanner turntable with the sanitation wipes that are on the shelf. Make sure you're thorough so there's no footprints left behind. After that, go ahead and open up the blinds so that way it signals to the rest of the staff or anybody else that the room is no longer in use. Once the email has been successfully sent, click OK and make sure you close out of the current profile so that way nobody's personal information is left up on screen. This concludes our Prestige Fitness tutorial on the Staiku 3D Body Scanner. Thank you for watching.